All right, good afternoon. Uh, this is Pete uh, from A Bit Twisted. So, we have some flax that's been stored for a while. Nice long, really long flax here. It's been stored for a while, but it's kind of tangled up because it was kind of bundled up a little bit tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-comb it in my big hackle, and then I'll hit it real quick in the finer one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my fiber, I'm going to wrap it around my hand like this. And I wrap it around my hand because if you don't, if I just grab like this, it's going to pull fibers all the way down here out. And we don't want that. So we want it to hold. So I'm going to do the tips first. And this is the end that I, that I hang here. And this is the end that I, that I pull from when I spin. So I like to get these down inside the comb. As you can see, get it down in the comb and then comb it out. And it detangles, straightens. So it can pull fiber out that's as long as what I have here between my hand and the tip. So you can see there's still some long fiber here. So this is toe. But I wanted to open it up, make it kind of open and airy. And so then I'll just carefully unwrap it. And then again, wrap it the other direction, keeping track of my direction. And then I'll cut this through my big hackle. And that just kind of opens up what I'd already done before and makes it nice and open and ready to hang on my distaff and start spinning. So that's ideally what I want. I don't even need to put this on the fine hackle, but you can see that there's still some tangles that will come out and that's okay. Uh, so when you buy stuff, depending on how well they combed it to begin with will depend on how much extra you get if you recomb it again. But you can pull these longer fibers out here and you can spin these. You can spin them on a drop spindle, whatever, however you like. And um, you can just draw them out and make yourself a stack of longer fibers. So that you can do. So now, I'm not sure if you can tell, so we're gonna kind of bring this camera up a little bit closer here to show you. The difference. So this is recombed out, it's nice and smooth. And this is not combed out again, kind of tangled up. So I'm going to do this here real quick, and you'll get to see that. Bring this back up again. So this is a normal thing. It just depends on the who, whoever you purchased them from, how well it's going to be. So I'm getting ready to put this stuff on my spinning wheel too. So. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna just lightly run it through, but I want it down into the comb and it just and just kind of turn it, flip it a little bit here and there. And it'll it'll detangle it so that looks nice and smooth. Wrap my fingers again, and then I'm going to do the same again on this end.
Don't have to be overly aggressive with it either. That's enough to open it back up again. So again, so now we have again another nice bundle. So now we have two nice smooth bundles of fiber and a little extra toe. And I've already processed this last year and it's just been sitting. So I have extra, but um, I've pulled some out from earlier. And so you get this semi-long fiber. You can spin this on the fold. You can wrap it around your finger and spin off the fold however you like. This is more like wool but you're still going to get your your nice linen from that and so then my my next long pieces and then you can recomb these then you can even recomb these and that'll even take out a couple little tangles and have some some of that from your toe so these are the things that you can do so I'm gonna pull some longer fiber out of my toe real quick here it's not a lot but it's enough to be able to do some stuff with of the longer parts of the toe. So again, I've got this and then I'll run that through the comb and I can run this through the finer comb, which would probably not be a bad idea. And just again, pull the tangles out of that. And now I have this again. So I also have a piece here that doesn't look like it redded quite well. So I'm just going to pull it out and throw it away because it's just junk. And this other toe can be used for whatever you like. And then I can use my fine comb Come this out, and then you get tangles and toe from that, and now you have now you have this nice short shorter fiber that's nice for spinning. So don't don't uh, discount anything. You can do quite a bit. So I'm gonna go take this in, and we're gonna hang it on the distaff, and we're gonna start spinning because this stuff is ready to go. All right, so now we're at the spinning wheel. Spinning wheel is right there. Got our flax hung up on the distaff and uh, ready to go. This is the stuff I just combed out. Yeah, so we're going to finish working on this spindle, or not spindle, uh, bobbin. And, um, See if we can put all that that's hanging onto that bobbin. And we'll talk to y'all later.